Hi, this is Zach with HVACdirect.com, and today we're going to talk about SEER and SEER2. Specifically, we're going to cover what does SEER stand for? What do the ratings or numbers actually mean? How is SEER determined? And what are the differences between SEER and this new SEER2 you may have heard of? To start with, SEER stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, and that is the same for SEER or SEER2. Now, you may know that you'll have SEER numbers, 13, 14, 16, 18, etc. To keep it simple, all you need to know is the higher the number, the more efficient the system. And that is true for SEER and SEER2. Now, how is that actually determined? How do we actually know that a system is 13 SEER or 14 SEER? Well, every manufacturer has to submit their equipment for independent testing and it will determine what the SEER rating is. And that's actually where some of the differences come into play between SEER and SEER2. With SEER, the manufacturers had to test their equipment at an external static pressure of 0.1. You can kind of think of external static pressure like friction. If you were driving down the road and you increased the friction, your car would probably go slower and you'd work a little bit harder. The same thing is true for your equipment and the air it's trying to move. Now, the issue with that is in real life, we very rarely achieve 0.1 of external static pressure. Most houses, homes, or businesses are going to have a greater static pressure in the ductwork. So what that has led to is a number that's not quite accurate, and that's part of what they're trying to address with SEER 2. We'll get into that in a little bit. Aside from that, the only other thing you really have to pay attention to is your region, and we'll discuss that later as well. Your region will actually determine the minimum SEER requirements that your equipment has to meet. So that is something you want to pay attention to. Now, to get to how is SEER different than SEER 2? Well, what the Department of Energy has specified the manufacturers must do starting January 1st, 2023, is increase that external static pressure they use for testing. It has to go from 0.1 to 0.5, and that's going to be a much more realistic test setting. Most homes are at 0.5, if not a little bit higher, so it's just going to give us a more realistic number. And what that means is the manufacturer is going to have to make the system even more efficient to maintain the requirements that the DOE is asking for. So overall, the good news is this means you, the homeowner or the purchaser, is going to get better equipment. Now, what you need to look for when looking at SEER or even SEER 2 does matter on when the equipment was made. We're going to walk you through the regulations and what you have to look out for depending on the year or the time your system or equipment was manufactured. Because this might get a little bit confusing, here's how we're going to proceed. The first thing we're going to talk about is when your system was made, because that is going to affect what requirements you have to meet. There's really two main categories you have to be aware of. Was your equipment considered existing inventory, which means it was manufactured before January 1st, 2023? Or is your equipment that you're trying to purchase new inventory? And that would mean it was manufactured on or after January 1st, 2023. That is important to pay attention to as you go to purchase equipment. So make sure when you're buying equipment, you pay attention to that or ask your salesperson or the company you're buying from when the equipment was manufactured because that will affect what you can do. The other important factor you have to consider is what region you're in. There are now three regions that you have to look out for. There's the north, the southeast, and the southwest. So what I'll do now is I'm going to break down each region based off the equipment made before 2023 or after 2023. And I'll help you guys know what you need to look for. All right, guys, we'll start with the north region because luckily this one's pretty straightforward. Let's start with existing inventory. Remember, that means equipment made before January 1st, 2023. The good news is this is very easy. If we're talking air conditioners and it was made before 2023, you can actually still install 13 SEER. That used to be the minimum requirement. And even though the new SEER 2 ratings don't allow this for new equipment, the government will let you install that to make sure all existing inventory can be used up. For heat pumps, it's the same thing. 
14 SEER. That was the old minimum requirement. And if it was manufactured before 2023 and you're installing it in the north, you can still install 14 SEER heat pumps. Once again, to make sure we use up all existing inventory. All right. Now let's talk about equipment that was manufactured or will be manufactured January 1st, 2023 or later. If you're in the North region and it's using the SEER system, it does change. At this point, all air conditioners that are manufactured on that date or later using the SEER rating will have to go to a 14 SEER and all heat pumps will bump up to a 15 SEER. Even though this is a SEER rating, that is considered SEER 2 compliant. So there is a minor change there. Now, the good news from what I'm seeing is that manufacturers aren't going to plan on making that equipment using the SEER rating after that date. In fact, I've already seen many manufacturers start to put out SEER 2 rated systems. So in my personal opinion, that won't be a major issue. But remember, if you do come across equipment that is made January 1st, 2023 or later, it still can be rated at 14 SEER for air conditioners or 15 SEER for heat pumps. Now, looking at the SEER 2 rating, it's a little bit lower, but it's actually equivalent, which is a little bit hard to understand. But remember, the SEER rating was using 0.1 inches of external static pressure, and the SEER 2 uses 0.5. So even though that number may look smaller, they're actually the same efficiency. So if we're talking about air conditioners, made January 1st, 2023 or later, the new minimum SEER 2 requirement will be 13.4 SEER 2, which is equivalent to 14 SEER. Now, if we're talking about heat pumps for the same standard, instead of 15 SEER, we'd be talking about 14.3 SEER 2. All right, on to the southeast region. Now, unfortunately, things get a little more complicated here. And right off the bat, I need to point out a very major difference from the north to the southeast region. In the southeast region, starting on or after January 1st, 2023, you cannot install equipment that does not meet the new SEER 2 regulations. I'm going to repeat that. You cannot install any equipment that does not meet the new SEER 2 regulations. If you remember back to the north, we had mentioned that you would still be able to install 13 SEER air conditioners if they were manufactured before 2023. With heat pumps, you were still able to install 14 SEER equipment if it was manufactured before 2023. That's the north region. In the southeast, that is not accurate. So that is something that I really want to make sure you guys understand because that is a major difference. Now, you may be asking, what are the new SEER 2 regulations for the southeast region? Well, even that is a little bit more complicated. For air conditioners, you're now going to also have to pay attention to the BTU capacity of the equipment or the size of the equipment. If the equipment is less than 45,000 BTUs, the new requirements are as follows. You must meet a 14.3 SEER 2 rating or a 15 SEER rating. That's for equipment that is less than 45,000 BTUs and air conditioning only. If the equipment is greater than or equal to 45,000 BTUs, there's a slightly lower bar. It has to be 13.8 SEER 2 or 14 and a half SEER. Now, when we move on to heat pumps in the southeast region, they don't differentiate with the size. The new requirements for heat pumps are 14.3 SEER 2, which is equivalent to 15 SEER. And lastly, with package heat pumps, you're looking at a 13.4 SEER 2 or 14 SEER. And last, but certainly not least, we're going to talk about the Southwest region. Now, just like the Southeast region, the same rules apply for air conditioners. All air conditioners, whether they're existing or new, whether they're manufactured in 2022 or 2023, have to meet the new SEER 2 requirements. None of the air conditioners get grandfathered in in the Southwest region. They must meet the new SEER 2 requirements, like we mentioned. So what are those requirements? Well, once again, you have to look at the BTU capacity for your air conditioner to know what category you fall into. But there's another category we have to add in. Not just SEER, there's now also an EER number you have to look for. We'll talk about what that's going to look like. So starting with air conditioning systems that are under 45,000 BTU, here's the numbers you need to know. 
For SEER 2, we're looking at 14.3 SEER 2. For SEER, the equivalent would be a 15 SEER. And then the EER number that you're looking for is either 12.2 or with the new EER 2, we're looking at 11.7. Moving on, if your equipment is greater than or equal to 45,000 BTUs, you're in a different category. Starting with SEER 2, you're looking at 13.8 SEER 2 or 14.5 SEER. Moving on to the EER, we're looking at 11.2 EER 2 or 11.7 EER. And that covers all you need to know for air conditioners in the Southwest. Luckily for heat pumps, it gets a little simpler, and all we're looking at once again is SEER or SEER 2. With heat pumps, we also do not need to look at the BTU requirements in the Southwest region, which of course is a good thing. So for heat pumps, what are we looking at? If we're talking about SEER 2 for heat pumps, we're talking about 14.3 being the minimum for all heat pumps manufactured January 1st or later. Remember, old heat pumps made in 2022 that are 14 SEER do get grandfathered in still. But what are we looking at for equipment made on January 1st or later? What's the SEER rating? That's going to bump up to 15. So remember, if your heat pump was made before 2023, it can be a 14 SEER. If it's made on or after the first day of the new year, it has to be a 15 SEER or a 14.3 SEER 2. And then lastly, for all package systems, we have the rating of SEER 2 13.4 or 14 SEER. If you still have questions, feel free to contact us at HVACDirect.com. We've got lots of great people who will be able to walk you through this process. We're also going to put a map up on the screen right now that will show you what region your state falls into. If you're in the North region, the Southwest region, or the Southeast region. So go ahead and take a look at that to help you get started. All right, now I know I threw a lot of information your way in this video. So if you need to go over it again, we did create a blog post for you where you can look at some amazing amazing graphics, read this information again, and find out what region your state's in. So if you have any further questions or just need to look at it one more time, please check it out. We'd be more than happy to interact with you there as well.